Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, here we are again. It is a gorgeous Monday afternoon. Um, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, hope you and the one you love are having a great day and we'll have a good evening. Um, just sitting here with Luna, thinking about what do I want to do for this coming week and our recipes. Um, I think I've told you guys before, quintessentially, I am a meat and potatoes guy at heart. So got to thinking, what is more meat and potatoes than a traditional pot roast, right? But I'm going to kick it up a notch because I've got some ideas for how to make that creamy. I'm going to put a little wine in there. It's going to be good. Uh, we're going to get some mashed potatoes, some carrots. It's going to be quite a meal. So looking forward to making that for you. So I will get that started tomorrow. That's going to be a slow cook. So with the slow cooks, of course, that's going to be a... Uh, uh, an all day thing. So we'll start in the morning and uh, I will have a, the good luck of being able to smell that all day as cooking, which is a treat in itself. So um, as I mentioned, Luna and I are just enjoying the afternoon. Cheers, everyone. Mm. So I just wanted to uh, thank you guys for coming back and checking out the channel. Hope you're enjoying all these recipes. I know I am. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, making them and I've got a lot on the queue so there's quite a bit to look forward to as well so um, with that I just uh, thank you to all my subscribers um, if you aren't already subscribed please uh, consider doing so if you like this type of content um, remember to hit that like button and also get those notifications um, and with that when we come back I will show you guys what we are working with everybody have a great night good morning everybody and uh, welcome back to the channel okay now you can see what we're working with here today. So the star of today's show is that chuck roast there. That is about a three pound chuck roast. And a chuck roast is definitely what you would want to use for this uh, dish if you decide to make it. It turns out perfectly. It's, um, it's going to be turn out really tender. Uh, we're going to start that off this morning. We're going to braise that. So we're just going to brown it on both sides before we throw it into that crock pot. And that's going to lock in all those juices. It's going to be great. So we got our, our organic carrots over there to the left uh, for those. Uh, we are going to peel those, dice those up, throw them in there with that chuck roast. It's going to be good. Uh, for our sauce back there, we got some Worcestershire sauce. We've got some cream of mushroom soup. That's going to break down with that um, meat over the course of the day. It's going to make for a wonderful gravy uh, for some potatoes later on. So that's what we're doing with that. That uh, Spanish table wine back there, red wine, we're going to use that to deglaze our pan once our pot roast has braised. That's good. We have a little uh, beef stock back there. We might throw a little bit of that, little bit of that in there. Uh, depending on how much uh, liquid we need to bring uh, to completely cover that uh, pot roast. So we've got an onion back there. We're going to dice that up. We've got some garlic. We're going to mince that up as well. For our spices, you can see we've got our herbs de from Provence. You know that I like to use that when we are working with beef. We've got some pepper and salt. I'm going to throw about a teaspoon of ancho chili powder in there. Saw that in the spice cabinet. thought, wow, that could really make for uh, some good flavor. And, of course, some little uh, granulated uh, powdered garlic there. So that's going to go in there, too. Like the garlic, real garlic, powdered garlic, it's all good. So when I bring you guys back, I'm going to show you how we braise that roast before it goes into the crock pot. We'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, and welcome back. So we have got our oil heated up here, and we are going to braise this roast. And that's what you want to hear. Uh, what we're trying to accomplish there is we don't want to cook this, of course. However, what we do want to do is we want to get some brown on both sides, maybe let's say a minute or two on uh, each side. And what that's going to do is that's going to lock in um, that flavor, which is going to and, and end up for a better product. So let's get some salt down on this side. And the other side is braising. Oh, boy, you can already get some smell off of that. Man, that smells good. All right. What I'm going to do, too, is while that uh, roast is starting to braise, I'm going to get these onions roughly chopped, started on either side. We want to get some color on them as well. And those will also end up in our slow cook, of course. So, like I said, I, mean, I want to show you guys some of that color on there. Oh, boy. That's, that's getting there. So, what I'm going to do is I'll bring you guys back uh, once that's had a chance to braise on that side. We'll flip it over and get that into this crock pot. Um, and oh, and I'll show you how to deglaze that as well. So hang on, hang on, I'll be back in a bit. 
Okay, and as you guys can see, we've got some beautiful brown here. So like I said before, we're talking about maybe a minute or two on each side. And I didn't mention before that I had some olive oil down in there before I put that down in there. That's what heated up and that's what gave us that nice caramelization on the top of that uh, chug roast. So that has had a chance to braise. So we're gonna move him over. Oh, before we do that, let me get a little olive oil down. Like that, get a little bed of olive oil down. Looks good. And now we will move our chuck roast over to the crock pot like that. Okay, and you can see our onions are getting some nice color on there, which is what we wanted. And that looks fantastic. That's about how I want that to be. So let's get that pan deglaze and a little wine. And what that's going to do is that wine is going to help release release that fond that's on the bottom from the meat as it was braising. So let's get that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that right into the crock pot. And then I will bring you guys back to show you how we get everything else assembled. So be back in a bit. Okay, and we are ready to get everything else going. So we've got our roast in there, we've got our uh, deglaze, our onions a little caramelized, we've got the wine which deglazed the pan, that's in there. Next, let's get our garlic in there. This is just some minced garlic, spread that around like that. Let's get our carrots. Those carrots and those are just roughly chopped, those are gonna go in there and nicely cook all day with that meat, it's gonna be great. We've got our cream of mushroom soup. So let's get that in there. Like I said, it's going to turn into a extremely creamy, which is going to be great for like a, the gravy at the end of the day for some potatoes. It's going to be perfect. All right, get that out of the way. Now we've got a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Let's get some of that down. Uh, maybe like a tablespoon or two should be about right. Okay. I want to get a little bit more um, liquid in there. So let's get a little bit of this beef broth. Get that down. Just enough to cover the pot roast. You don't need too much, but you definitely, whenever you do a slow cook, you need to have a little bit of liquid in there. So that looks about right. Let's get our spices in there. We've got our herbs from Provence. I'm just going to go on top there. Uh, how much? Uh, about that much. Okay. We've got our garlic powder. We'll get that down. Uh, also about that much. And then finally, our ancho chili. Now, I'm not going to go too heavy on this, as I mentioned. I just thought it might be a nice compliment to the dish. And so let's, you know, uh, let's, let's try that. Let's see what that does for us. So this is going to go down on high for about, um, the, the total cook's going to be about 10 hours. I'm going to start this on high. Later on in the day, let's say six or seven hours in, I'll probably lower it to the lower setting. And what that does is the lower you cook this, the more tender and um, the more broke down that meat's going to get. So it's all about low and slow. Uh, let it do its thing. When I bring you back, back when I bring you guys back this evening, I'll whip up some mashed potatoes. I'll show you how this turned out. It's going to be great. Uh, we'll see you later in the day. Everybody have a great day. Okay, guys. And we are back. As you can see here, ooh, we've got this beautiful... Uh, pot roast over there and man it I tasted it it's good um, I actually ended up it was it was a little bit thinner than what I wanted um, and so I ended up thickening it up with the roux and what that is basically is you get about uh, uh, maybe a quarter cup of butter and two tablespoons of flour heat that all up in a separate pan take out some of the uh, some of the liquid some of the sauce that we created here put that into the pan and just make kind of a basic gravy Put that back in there and that really thickens it up. So that's going to work really good for the thickness that I wanted it. You might want it a little thinner. That's okay. Everybody's preference. So, but what we're doing right now is we've got these potatoes here and I have chopped those up and boiled them. So now we're just going to mash those up like that. And I always mash them first before I um, mix them with the mix master. I just feel like it works a little bit better. So, do that. And what's better than a pot roast and some mashed potatoes and some of that gravy? It's going to be a really good dinner. And that works out well today because it is windy outside, kind of blustery. So it's a perfect meal for that type of night. 
So let's do that. That looks about right. I, I left the skin on there, and that's also your own preference. I Sometimes I like to take the skin, skin off, sometimes I don't. Especially with red uh, potatoes, oftentimes I like to leave the skin off. I just think it tastes good, and I think it works out better. So we've got our butter here. Let's put that in. I think we've got about a, once again, about a maybe a quarter, quarter cup, maybe a little bit over of butter. We'll put that on there. Get that out of the way. I like to put in a little bit of milk, but not too much. Go easy at first, because you can always add some more, but it gets too thin, and then it's not what we want. So, a little bit of salt, and that is a salted butter, so we don't need too much additional salt. Um, but it is to taste, of course, as well. And it looks like they need some new salt, too, so put that on the grocery list. Get that out of the way. And we've got our pepper. I like a lot of pepper in my mashed potatoes. We'll get that down. And about that much. So, get that out of the way. Let's get in here with our mixer here. Oh, that's going to be good. Okay. The main thing with this is you just don't want any lumps, of course, in your potatoes. It might have been a little heavy handed with the butter there, but. Who doesn't like a little bit of butter, right? Okay. This looks so creamy. And that is what we want. So, I am going to finish this up. And when I bring you guys back, I will show you uh, the final product with our pot roast and then how we are going to plate this. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. As you can see, this is what we ended up with. And wow, that looks so tasty. So we've got our pot roast over there. Let me just show you guys, if I can, how tender this is. It, it just, oh, it just comes right apart like that. Oh, it, it, so that's what that slow cooking does. So that's the benefit of that. That is just super tender. I've got a little bit of Italian parsley on there. We've got our carrots in there. We've got our mashed potatoes. Laid with a little bit of that gravy on there. And we got ourselves a healthy spinach salad in the back. So this is looking excellent. Looks like it turned out perfectly, but we never know until that big bite. So hang on and we'll be back. Okay, nothing left to do but dive into this, huh? See what we ended up with. Let's, let's try this uh, this uh, pot roast first and just see what we got over here. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So, what really stands out on that is how tender all that got um, just pull apart it's really really good so that turned out great let's dive into these potatoes with that gravy let's see what we got there mm. equally awesome last one let's see these carrots oh, there's carrots give a couple of carrots that has the carrots mm. Okay guys, we have another success. This turned out well. I hope that you will try this recipe and enjoy it like I am. Um, thanks again for joining me on this recipe. And uh, if you like this kind of content and you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, hit that like button and get those notifications. We will catch you guys on the next recipe.